sure they burned it with that thing on. Give me more credit than that. <laughs> how many times, how many times did that poor woman go to wakes as part of the bereavement league? Well, she planned for everything except for getting run over by a bus. <laughs> I know she looked bad. But morticians can work miracles these days. I mean, God is in the details. Well, God's right-hand lady there left off one detail. Ooh. How the hell are we going to pay for all this? The burial plot, the rented hearse, the fees. I went back there and I saw those coffins, the price of them. I was dying myself. I don't know what to do with the Costco's. <laughs> they made some prices there. And they even, they even sell caskets. <laughs> I, I, I bought it to bring it to the funeral parlor. They have to, they have to accept it. <laughs> this is our mother's final resting place we're talking about here. Not some large jug of laundry detergent. Jesus! <laughs> I know she had plans to be laid out in the casket with her fingers clasped in the rosary, yada, yada, yada. But for Christ's sake, how are we going to pay for all of this? I mean, she literally had tire tracks on her face. Tire tracks on church bus. She was totally unrecognizable. Man, why? Why did you have to go to that church bus trip in the first place? <laughs> with an irresponsible crowd. <laughs> holy rollers, holy God! I know what I mean! <laughs> Jesus, isn't, isn't the holy water in the States good enough for miracles? Uh, she just had to go to Lourdes to get the top shelf stuff. And for what? For you. What was it? I said she did it for you. She thought it would make a difference. She thought if she swabbed a little on that laptop of yours, I'd finally get that bestseller you always wanted to publish. Oh. She thought if she swabbed some on your throat while you were asleep, Punch the trust for the trick you're beginning to develop. Don't you pull this shit on me? Don't you think I'm stepping on me? Yeah, that's really low, considering she told me she was going there for you. Oh, is that so? Yeah. This I really want to hear. Yeah, well, she told me she was going there to pray for you that you once and for all found a man instead of searching the, the chorus for those queer feathers that she used to call her. <laughs> she also said she'd rub some on your belly to keep those ovaries in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> bring it good old St. Anne can have a late pregnancy, but so can Colleen me and Jesus. So if there's anyone to pin for this shit, it's you! <laughs> oh, old Peg is up to her old tricks. Even from beyond, putting her two kids against each other. Always trying to fix you. Moving the ball with her lofty expectations on you every step of the way. Yes. Textbook Irish mother behavior. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Sister Mary Jack Daniels. <laughs> I didn't say I was kicked out of the convent. I'd rather look at it like I was sprung. That's a good behavior. Yeah, well, you better behave yourself here. Oh, because God forbid what the church ladies in the convent think of us. Exactly. You know, that was always your problem. You were so worried about what everyone else thought about you. Going to church just so you could be seen at Mass, all the while you're judging everyone who's walking by you. Some Catholic values you have. Yeah, well, at least I go to church. All right, all right, ladies. Back to your corners and towel off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What did it kill you? What did it kill you to say something nice like, I'm sorry for your troubles? Something like that. You're unbelievable. How can I even get a word in edgewise? You went on the attack mode. I need some fresh air. First, I find out that my dear witted brother borrows our mother's money against everybody's wishes. And now I have to deal with your crap. I'm at my breaking point. I'm telling you. Is there any winning with her? Well, she takes after her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she might have this home. 
Yeah, it must be all that whiskey you drink. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, you got any on you? Let's try one of those nuts that Comet used to inhabit. Oh, classy, <laughs> real classy. <laughs> Rest in peace, old gal. Listen, I know I screwed up. We made a lot. I thought it was the best thing to do with the time. they wanted for that casket and the limo to pull her in. I mean, what's the point? It's a close casket, right? <laughs> Very practical, I think. I mean, if there's anyone tighter with a buck right here than you, it's your sister. Jeez, you think that bitch again. She's been hanging on to her communion money since the second grade. <laughs> okay, I just can't justify driving by a cemetery, thinking of all the toxic wasteland that it is. You know, like wood and metal propped up with human flesh and chemicals. I'm not about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> You're really guzzling that down, bro. You're gonna make me sue? Jesus! I'm not. I'm just saying. You see, you know, we've been funder of that stuff since the last time I saw you. Then I'm finished not getting the best year or what? You know what? It's okay. I don't need any more. It's a good thing. You almost drained the fucker dry. Who, <laughs> 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 me? Horrified at the very notion. Yeah, you always had the best dash in high school. As <laughs> my old friend on the football team. My Connery. I screw him! <laughs> I did! Which is why he gave me his best shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you, the outside! God knows what they took the needles! <laughs> what must it be like to be you? What must it be like to have your every move measured? And what everyone else thinks about you? Yeah? You should know about prisons. Oh, you're sprained and you know it. Besides, I was out in a week on a technicality. I probably call that prison time. I just love this warm and fuzzy feeling when we all get together as a family. Mom <laughs> <laughs> was the last of a generation to go. No, she's the old one. <laughs> hey, am I the only one seeing those eyes moving on that sacred heart picture? No, 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 that's the drink. I thought the same thing at first. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Mare's resting in peace now. She spent a lifetime worrying about how the lot of us would turn out. At least now she doesn't have to worry about anything anymore. And we never asked her to worry, but she wouldn't let her. And for God's sake, you two are in your fifties. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God I drove your mother's sister to an early grave. Otherwise she'd still be driving me up the wall. I mean... You guys are all going to be grandparents now. But still, she treated us like children. But what are we going to do without her? I guess it was a sister thing. I mean, they meant well, but we did give them a lot to worry about. I mean, you know, a little church spinster, a down and out joke writer, and a convict kicked out of the convent. It's a trifecta of worry right there. <laughs> Jesus, don't know whether to laugh or cry at that one. I'll check to that. Don't! don't. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go out now and fix up my face before the crowd start coming. I think I'll join you. You know, Ma, they may be some miracles in that boy's water after all. <laughs> <laughs> 